hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i want to show you how i refurbish a vintage zippo lighter that had been used do remove every content within the lighters insert prior to preparation for the refurbishment you need paper towels, a wooden stick, some cotton buds, a fine a probing device such as a toothpick, nylon abrasive pads, scotch bright can be used, as well as a pair of scissors to cut the nylon abrasive pads into smaller pieces. Lighter fluid is an effective cleaning solution while refurbishing an, an old Zippo lighter. However, if uh, stubborn residues or rust are present within the lighter components, WD-40 will work well. I always begin by cleaning the fuel chamber of the insert by pouring in some lighter fluid. And scrubbing the inner walls with the cotton bud. The initial cleansing of the lighter's chimney starts with a general scrub down using a cotton bud saturated with lighter fluid. Commence by reaching into the inner walls and as well as the base. Stick the cotton bud beneath the cam spring. With a paper towel saturated in lighter fluid, commence a general wipe down of the exterior facades of the inserts, places which are still accessible by hand. These are the areas which could only be reached using a toothpick and paper towels. They are the corners between the chimney and flint wheel openings. Around and through the flint wheel rivets. As well as along the corners beneath the flint, beneath the cam spring. Looking into the chimney of the insert, you may start finding the presence of rust and uh, stubborn residues, especially on and below the cam spring. Lighter fluid is no longer effective in removing these things. Thus, you need to start using the WD-40 
and nylon abrasive pads. Apply some WD-40 solvent. And begin scrubbing the insides vigorously with the aid of the wooden stick. Not to forget the bottom of the camp spring because rust are always accumulating in this surfaces. Yet, I will still prefer leaving a little bit of WD-40 along the top and bottom sides of the cam spring so that, so that it doesn't rust further and break up on me in the future. Now is the time to work on the interior of the lighter casing particularly within the lid which typically accumulates a lot of residues And if a cotton bud doesn't remove the residues within the lid, you will then uh, proceed with using the nylon abrasive pads. I shall use dry paper towel to dry up everything thoroughly using another paper towel soaked in lighter fluid I will finish off by gently cleaning up the lighter surfaces making sure that all the solvent is completely dry after that. All right, now I'm ready to put everything together. There we have it guys. This one of a kind collectible is now fit to be placed within my display case. For more information about displaying and protecting your favorite Zippo lighters. Do check out my other video from the link placed within the description below. As of now guys, hope you have learned something from this. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.